things getting worse before they get better is a common thing to happen to people when they are manifesting. You're manifesting a new job and all of a sudden you find yourself out of one. You feel like you're making progress with your SB and suddenly you're ghosted. You had a financial goal to hit and suddenly you suffer a financial loss. My message is, if everything that is happening in your 3D world is swaying you, you are living from moment to moment rather than living from the end. You have no control over the bridge of incidences that occur before your wish is materialised. And just because the series of events that are taking place are not what you think should be happening doesn't mean things are going, in quotation marks, wrong. It isn't your job to question the hows, the whys, the whens. When you do that, of course your faith will be shaken because you're making the mistake of thinking of your desire rather than thinking from it. I'll say that again. You are making the mistake of thinking of your desire rather than thinking from it. If you were really thinking from your desire, how could you try and figure out how or when you'd get it if you believe you're already in possession of it? Figuring out how your wish is coming into fruition is never your job. And if your faith's foundation is built on your surroundings, and what is happening in front of you, it's only a matter of time before you get into trouble here. If you are truly living by the law, you can't be moved by every passing moment. You stand steadfast in faith. In the words of Neville Goddard himself, your dreams will never come to pass if you believe in the denials displayed by your reason and your outer senses. What I find is, is that most people want things to go or to look in quotation marks right before they're faithful. When things start to look right, then I'll be faithful or I'll be faithful after my desire comes into fruition. Then I can show you how faithful I am. My friends, faith could never work that way. It just doesn't work that way. Faith can only be displayed when there is absence of the thing you desire. You can't start displaying your faith when your desire is right in front of you because there's nothing to be faithful about. Your faith isn't and cannot be tested on your best days. It is only tested on your worst. If you've decided to live by the law, live by the law. Don't have one foot in and one foot out. To live by the law is a decision. If you've decided to live by the truth that you are the operant in power, why on earth are you staring at what you've created and choosing to become a victim to it? My friends, like I've said, living by the law is a decision. It's not even a necessity. But what it is, is a decision. In fact, there are so many successful people who have no idea that they are unconsciously using it, but they're successful. But if you've decided to live with these principles, you need to create the end and stay there and stop reacting to what is. It doesn't matter what is happening or how it's happening. You should not be shaken at every unfolding event. I also need to address people who are, who call themselves very logical and they need the facts first. So to the person who says, but naturally, I'm just a very logical person who always needs proof first. I don't know. I guess I'm just different from everybody else. I guess it's just who I am. I'm really sorry to burst your bubble, but you're not. This might be a huge wake up call for you. But most of us, if not all, we are taught from birth. We're taught from a very young age. We're taught to look at the situation, then assess it and then react from there. So you're not different from anybody else here. We are all learning. This is all new. I mean, it's the way that humans even survive by looking at a situation, assessing it and saying, OK, this is what I'll do. So you're not different here. But if you've made the decision that you want to continue reacting to your world, like I've said, conscious creation is just a choice. And if you've chosen to be the logical person, that's your prerogative. But to those who have chosen this journey, even if you are in a dire situation, I want you to understand that faith is built. 
faith can be practiced. I feel like people often wait for something big or traumatic to happen before they start their manifestation journey. But faith in everything and anything is built through experience. For instance, a partner takes time for you to have faith in them. A friend, it takes time for you to build faith in them. A colleague, manifesting is no different. Start with something small. I mean, if you know that you can manifest 50 pounds, you'll probably believe you can manifest 100. Then you could probably move on to 500, then 1,000 and so on and so forth. So start from somewhere. Don't wait until you have a big problem to start exercising your faith. So my final message is when things seem to be going wrong, it most probably isn't. I can't even begin to tell you the amount of times things seem to turn upside down before my wish came into fruition. I briefly explain it in my previous video, seven years as a Neville Goddard student and more into detail on my blog in the post called Small Lottery Win, Big Lesson Learn. Your job isn't to control how things happen, but it's to control your thoughts and your emotions and to turn away from what is. And the only way to do this is to be faithful to the end. You've reached the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe and to hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I upload. If you are interested in purchasing a manifestation package, you can do so at manifestingwithan11.com. All the information will be linked down below. Don't forget to follow Manifesting Within 11 on Instagram, where quotes are posted every single day. And feel free to join Manifesting Within 11's Facebook group too. Also, if you would like to be coached by me personally, I have a few spaces left open for new clients. I love you all and I shall catch you in the next video.